Hey, thank you, fam. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Look who we have. Hey. hey guys, we've got Even a... The hair is synced, uh, the yeah. clothes are synced, everything about them is just synced. But we've got Ramel and Naomi here today. We yeah. brought them on because we want to talk about them getting married at 21. It's crazy. 21. I don't know what Anna was doing at 21. Mate. Oh, wait, did we meet at 21? Did we meet at, yeah. Well, we, we met did. at 21. Yeah, he saved me. <laughs> yeah, I saved her life. Whatever I was doing, no, 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 God save me. But, um, <laughs> like, how did you guys get married at 21? That's what we want to talk about today. And just really understand their relationship. They've been mm. married for four years. Like, they're, yeah. they're beating us, yeah. but they're the same age as us. So, let's talk about it. First of all, how did you guys meet? Mm. How did we meet? I was at my uncle's church yeah. Yeah. Um, in Camberwell. I've been there all my life. Yeah. Um, I was good friends with one of Naomi's friends. Okay. Um, and Naomi's friend brought Naomi along. Oh. Yes, she did. So um, were, you, were you not Christian or were you Christian ish? Ish! Ish! <laughs> Christian ish! I like that. I like that. Like, I'm not in, not out, but I dabbled. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so you saw her? Yes, I saw her. I want to say hello. Oh, um, yeah, of course you did. Which was a little bit awkward. Why was, why? It, why was it awkward? I used to be painfully shy. Oh yeah. And, and so Ramel like just came up, said hello, and I was literally like, "No, you didn't actually do that, did you?" Yeah. Oh my god. You put your hands to your face. Yeah, did, like, you, did you like in your heart just feel like rejected? You know what? <laughs> I would like to say yes. <laughs> I for the sake of you know entertainment, but I wasn't. Were you I not? I didn't feel that way. Oh, okay. Is that because you wasn't seeing her that you just wanted yeah, to see her? Yeah, okay. was genuine hello. I don't know why you did that. Okay. So I'm shy. Do you think she was weird at that time? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you meet for the first time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so when did things start like happening? When did like, you know, the love just start flowing in the atmosphere? Yeah. <laughs> it, took, it took about six months, I would say. Okay. So we were close friends, like, obviously, in the, at the time we were still youth. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, how old were you at this point? So, you've been 17, and I've been 18. Wow. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we were like a close knit group. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so, we spent a lot of time together. So, yeah. every Sunday and Friday nights as well, actually. Okay. okay. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Bible studies and that. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Bible studies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it took about six months before, like, we started saying, like, Texting as more than friends. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, so this first it was like texting past nine o'clock. Oh, oh, yeah. oh you yeah. know when that happens like um... <laughs> Yeah, then you, you, you wake up to those good morning texts. Oh, 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 so yeah. you start texting, yeah. when do things actually start escalating? How do you then ask her out? Mm. Oh. To be fair, like we kind of knew we were going to get together, but I still made, a, made him ask me out. Okay. Yes! Made him work? Yeah. <laughs> I thought about that. Yes! Okay, what happened there? And, and I said I'd think about it. Yes! Amen! Yeah, the confidence. Amen! You're about to lose this. <laughs> Are you serious? What's going on? Oh, oh, what's this doing? Good, I like it. You yeah. have so, <laughs> so when you got into the relationship, was it like, right, this is for marriage? Because I know when we had the conversation, it was proper serious, like, this is for Laji, we're dating, but I we're married. I had to have a Bible, she took out a notepad, she told me to write a date for the wedding, no, I'm not sure. No, it was, but it was very intentional. Now, at 19, yeah. I would not have been intentional, so... How, was it intentional for you guys? Like, more so for me than you, I'll probably say. Okay. Um, but it wasn't serious straight away. I was like, okay. let's see how this goes. Mm. Okay. Um, but then it got serious. Oh, um, yeah. But at the same time, I was more keen on marriage than Naomi was. Oh, okay. really? Um, Why so? Yeah. Why do you think that was Naomi? I was just, I just had the attitude of, um, in it for the long run, like, whether we get married or not, doesn't mm. really matter. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it's almost like you didn't see the value of marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Like, but you did. Yeah, I did. I think maybe it's the way we grew up. Okay. Like, very different kind of homes. What was your home? Um, so my parents got married young. Oh, okay. um, what? How oh yeah. You? So my mum was nineteen, my dad was twenty-one. Wow, oh, yeah. that's pretty much you guys' story. <laughs> yeah, very similar. Very, very similar. How wow. is so important, but, um, you know? It's exactly. so important how we raise our children. Yeah. Right? So did you see all that? See like real love in your house? <clears throat> yeah. So it was, yeah, wow. that's that's all I knew. Wow. So so yeah. That is so gold. It just kind of shows the value. Like you said the value okay. of yeah. the yeah. household mm. and the way you're brought up mm. and the values. Wow. Um, whereas Naomi probably was a bit different. What was your household yeah. like, if you don't know? My, my mum and dad went together. Okay, I yeah. don't remember them being together. Okay. Yeah, so, 
So yeah, because you saw them separate, you didn't actually see the value because you yeah. thought people... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm. Okay, so then in the relationship, when did it start getting serious? Or when did you start I thinking think when, about it? when you started having more of those conversations. Mm. Yeah. Did you get so, scared when you started mentioning marriage, though? No, because I was just like, eh, and I'd laugh it off. Yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. just like, oh, yeah, whatever, I don't want to marry you, whatever. And he was just like, no, seriously. But I suppose as well, like, just for myself, once I got a bit more serious, like, with God and stuff. Mm. Oh, okay. Like, I was like, okay, this is the like, next step. So you dropped off that ish and you just kept pushing yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But it did get to the point where we had discussions. I was like, yeah. well, you should not want to get, get married to me then. Mm. Yeah. And I was a duck. Mm. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, it, it, I think we had like those, those conversations. Talks. Yeah. 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 And yeah. how did you feel when he was having that kind of conversation with you? No, like, to him, I was just like, okay, well then, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and that's how I came across. But obviously, inside, I was just trying to figure it out and work out if that's really like, okay, well, yeah, am I gonna, yeah. because I knew that he was what I wanted, mm. but I just didn't think that marriage was like, so necessary. Yeah, yeah, like, I know it's a big deal, but I just didn't think it was a must. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So if she said at that point, I don't want marriage, you would have called it a day. Possibly. I don't think it would as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I like, I like to think that, but yeah. um, I definitely, I was having the thoughts. Mm. And you said, but I was like, okay, let's, let's see how this pans out. Yeah. But if it gets mm. ridiculous, then I will have to make that decision. Yeah. Wow. Me mm-hmm. personally, I was wanting to get married by the time I was 23. Why? Right. From a young age. Oh God! <laughs> what to get married at 23? Sorry. I just, I just didn't want that. I wanted that part of my life sorted. You know that when you find a wife, you find a good thing. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. your life will escalate. So like, I, I knew the value of companionship, mm. the value of having a wife. And I wanted to get that sorted ASAP. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, Again, this comes from the values that you got from your husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I understood also the older you get, um, is. So, for example, if I was trying to get into a relationship older, yeah. I would be bringing so much more baggage into the yeah, relationship. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I would have so much, so much more, then we'd have to bring two lives together. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, because we got married so young, yeah. it was a thing of, yeah. oh, we built this life together. Wow, yeah. that's such an advantage, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Because even us getting married at 24, we had a lot of baggage. Yeah. We would have had even more if we were older. Exactly. But now we're building things together. Like, we started from nothing mm. together. Like, the only way is up together. But right. I think, like, in your 20s, people, like, think, like, you need to have so much fun. And I feel like people actually think that fun is doing, you know, in the club, chasing mm. girls and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Did you not ever feel kind of missing like, out. like you're missing out? Yeah. No, no, I, 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 go I got, no, I didn't either, first of all. But I, I got a comment which was um, from someone, oh, but you haven't lived your life yet. Oh, that line. Uh. And I was like, do you want to define what you mean by that? Because mm. what I think you mean mm. is I haven't slept around with enough people and I haven't like dated enough guys and I haven't mm. like basically got enough baggage under me basically yeah. Yeah, before I get with someone. Mm. I can live my life and I'm living a very full life and a happy life but just married to Ramel. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is fantastic. Yeah. So it didn't cross your mind at all that am I missing out? No. Mm. Is there something else out there? It didn't have any kind of there? formal, the grass mm. greener on the other side. But I think what also helps is the people that were around us. So we yeah. had a lot of friends that were yeah. older than us. Oh. Okay. And they were married. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think also the people that you surround yourself with, your environment, yeah. again, mm. is key. 100%. So if that's what you're seeing, and yeah. your friends are like that. And I oh. think as well, like, I was so shy, obviously. Mm. I was so shy, I was really quiet. I lacked a lot of confidence. Mm. Um, and I'd grown so much, even up until the point, like, we just got engaged yeah. and we were talking about that. And, like, for me, something just went, didn't it? So at first it was, oh, I don't really want to get married. And then it was like, when are we going to get married? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I guess when someone like adds value to your life, yeah, exactly. it's so hard to let go of them yeah. because you're seeing so much growth in yourself. Mm. And it's just like, I don't want to let you go. And I think it's the exact same thing with us. From you guys saying all this, like, I do get it now. Like, yeah, I yeah. get why you got married so young. Yeah. And I can mm. see the, like, blessings in that. But what are some of the challenges that come with getting married so young or getting together so young? It's a few challenges. So mm. the finances is one. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like unless you, I suppose, unless you go straight into a big time job, yeah, mm. you know, a business yeah. that kicks off when you're young. Yeah. Um, finances aren't going to be up, so to speak. Okay. At that kind of age. So you got to navigate that. So mm. when we first got married, we actually moved into Naomi's mum's. Oh okay. okay yeah. Um, and we was there for two years before we moved out. Okay. How did that feel um, for you, like moving into your <clears> wife's house? I think now? what probably helped was the fact that I hadn't yet experienced 
being married and living alone. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think mm. we're forced to try to go back now mm. to live and live at home with yeah. my mum's okay. yeah. like, and feel it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But what was it about marriage that you aspired so much that you, like some people like to think, oh, I have, to have everything sorted out. Mm. But why is it that you felt like you want to get married quickly than go and live in there with mum? Yeah. I just think you're never, like, you're always going to be waiting for the right time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You can plan, 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 plan. Something else is going to change. You're going to wait for something else. Mm. Yeah. Um, so make true. room for something else. So it was just like, okay, where we're at, this is the, the decision that we're committing to, mm. what we want to make. And this is what we can do right now. So yeah. let's do that. Yeah. And as a man, mm-hmm. like, you know, a lot of men I hear are postponing getting married because mm-hmm. the finances are not in order, we haven't got our house, I won't be able to provide. And that's a heavier burden for a man than yeah, a woman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, how do you deal with that? Or was she just the supportive wife that was like, oh, anything, baby, yeah, you can outside. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, we were just on doing it together. Yeah, um, yeah I think it, it doesn't make it easier when you've yeah. got a wife that it supports you mm. and she's not fussed by those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, about the journey and the stories mm-hmm. that you have to tell. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just inspired already hearing that how young you were when you got married, moved into your mum's, and then now looking at you like four years later, yeah. and now you're in your own place, and the journey you're continuing to go on, mm-hmm. yeah. it's just it, like inspiring. Yeah, so it, it's, yeah, it's, like I said, it's the journey. Yeah. yeah. Even now, the different ventures that we're on in regards to business and the growth we've seen in each other, mm. Mm. being yeah. that journey together, yeah. you can't beat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't that's beat that. You can't wow. beat that. How do you deal with actually changing so much as individuals, but then remembering, right, we're one and we have to be growing together? Because mm. I think at a young age, yeah. you're growing so much faster than you are yeah, when you're older. Especially. Like, how do you guys deal with that? I think you have to, it's patience. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's patience. Mm. Um, because, yeah, like I said, we're always changing. So when we got married, we're not, we're not the same people as we were at, say, 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we have to be patient with each other because her likes might change, or the way she responds to things might change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For example, yesterday. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? What? What's the you thinking about? <laughs> I was just going to go away back, but go, go to yesterday. Yesterday, you know. Okay, so, so we were yeah. girls, so, we were like, so like, <laughs> like, is it even like yesterday? So we're on the sofa, yeah. my MacBook is there. Yeah. Naomi comes and sits on the sofa and sits on my MacBook. No, no, first of all, I was, <laughs> I wasn't on it fully, like it kind of obviously the sofa dipped and kind of slid just in between. Men and MacBooks. So I was like, babe, you know you sitting on my laptop, yeah? Yeah. It was the time. Yeah, that's it. I felt it. You saw it, you saw it. Yeah, Yeah, no. That's how I felt it. So then Naomi was like, don't ever speak to me like that ever again. Oh! My God! That's what she said. And she got up, she stood into the kitchen and yeah, she was like, are you going to cook? <laughs> wow, do you have any traditional men? No, no. But then she stood up and it was like, maybe in the past, mm. I would have been the thing of like... She would have taken it. Yeah, or they're taking it and they're harboring it mm. and not vocalise how she felt. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Or if she vocalised it, I would have been like, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with my turn. Whereas, yeah. I took 30 seconds, I was like, you know what? Uh, I, was, I was in the kitchen for longer than 30 seconds. Oh, <laughs> a minute, a minute. <laughs> a minute. I took a minute or two and I was like, okay, maybe my tone was a bit strong. Mm, you know, so yeah. I got up, I said, I can have a hug. I'm sorry. Wow. And, that, and, that, and that kind of, doing that constantly, yeah. every day, yeah. it resolves issues. Um, and then so you, you learn. Mm. So you obviously went from not saying anything when you first got together to mm. now you're telling him, don't talk to me like that. Yes, honey. But you actually like prefer it when she just says yeah. things. You know, like when you start getting a bit feisty, start getting a bit comfortable. Oh, yeah, that's your comfortable. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit better when they're direct, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just harbour it and then. The blow up. Yeah. Right? yeah. 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 I don't know if I have a problem being direct. Yeah. Yeah. No, sometimes I'm quiet. <laughs> Whoa! Silence! <laughs> Silence! Anyways, about you. Um, like, how did you come from that to this? Because I think that's just, uh, something that a lot of girls battle with, yeah. like how to oh, confront no. their partner. But you've come yeah. far in four years. Um, I think first of all, just like my confidence growing, like okay. yeah. um, over time, and knowing the damage that harboring things does. Oh, okay. uh, so, yeah. um, simple. Like, so say if I'm like holding in all of these things, then mm. I don't know. He doesn't like wash up a cup. Yeah, yeah. the smallest thing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this cup! <laughs> and 
it's actually nothing to do with the car yeah. yeah but everything to do with everything that i'm holding on to yeah and um i think yeah. the confidence in me being able to address things is his change on how okay. he receives it mm. but also um just my com where i used to be so shy yeah and just that confidence my identity was very much in Ramel yeah. and okay. everyone used to call him my um, safety blanket oh. or my comfort blanket and I, like, yeah. I used to just like hide behind him all the time wow. and everyone would call me his shadow. Wow. Um, <laughs> shadow! <laughs> no, not <laughs> but once like I kind of grew myself and yeah. knew where I was going and who I was yeah. and I, I started to know then I could kind of navigate like yeah. my yeah. path a bit more. Mm. And so I was more confident to address things that I wasn't comfortable with yeah. and okay. certain tones in which he would use to talk to me and stuff. Yeah. And I'd be yeah, like, having it. <laughs> nah. And then yesterday just tits me over the edge. <laughs> I guess like yeah. because it's because it's a good thing because you're getting more comfortable when you're in your yeah. marriage. You yeah. feel like you're yeah. safe. Yeah. So you feel like yeah, you can actually lash out, mm. but then you know that your partners are gonna run away because yeah. you're just yeah. committed in this thing. In a relationship, you should be opening up more as yeah. a relationship yeah. progresses. If you find it going the other way, that's like a red flag. Yeah. That something's not right. But the fact yeah. that you're opening up yeah. more shows yeah. that he's bringing the best out in you. Yeah. And from your perspective, like. You know, a lot of men say they want confident women. How did you get with Naomi when she wasn't as confident? Like, I don't, maybe I saw the potential in her. Oh, I don't know. No? <laughs> hey, look at this! Look at no, this! I, I don't know. I think I don't know. I think. I think yeah, he was like, <laughs> I have a proper moment here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the chemistry. Yeah, proper real, mate. Well, at the time, it took all speed. Hey, yeah. baby. <laughs> Uh, it's not the yeah. same, it's not the same. Oh, cool guys, it's been so good. Yeah. Like, thanks for sharing. No it's been so insightful. What would you say, like, because we get, we got an Ask the Daily question from a guy mm. who said he's young, he's about to go to university, um, and his girlfriend's going to university. They're going to different ones. Yeah. Now, people are telling him that their relationship can't work because they're young, because they're going to different unis. What advice would you give to a couple like that? He's thinking, should I just let it go or should I? No, definitely let it go. Yeah? yeah definitely let it go. Yeah. But I think he needs to just understand that it will be a bit more tricky. Mm, you know, yeah. and accept that and embrace that, but then yeah. just learn to navigate through that. Mm. You know? uh, but to, to let it go would be a shame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think if you're choosing, if, if the relationship is what you're choosing yeah like for anyone just from my own experiences if a relationship is what you're choosing then you choose to trust that person yeah. you choose to be fully committed to that person mm. and you're choosing um to not give like you have to not give that person any reason to not trust yeah, you know yeah. I mean? so, yeah. yeah. and you you have to be committed set yourself like routines and boundaries and stuff so that you can stay like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you just got to be intentional. Yeah, I think with yeah, relationship, yeah. you just got to work at it and commit to it, mm -hmm. and it's a daily thing. Yeah. So you can't be like, oh, I'm going to talk to you this week, and the next week you just not yeah. yeah. on the phone. Yeah. 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 So just working through it. Yeah, it takes so much effort to make a relationship work, and yeah. for you to be young and long distance, mm -hmm. like obviously that brings additional challenges yeah. that yeah. maybe wouldn't come yeah. with other relationships but if you're willing to do it you can make it yeah. work like look at these guys they started with nothing yeah. living in mother-in-law's house yeah. like, not having grow. the wedding that they maybe wanted 10 years later or that they could have had but look at them now like, yeah, the journey the journey is beautiful it's all about the story that you're telling and you know mm. and all coming together 100 you know. percent. so guys thank you so much for coming on the channel so nice <laughs> I, I it and yeah. I feel like I've learned so much yeah, about so. relationships and how they can work and growing together and matching together. Yeah, <laughs> so matching is key next yeah, time and like, you'll see us when we don't matching. Don't watch us guys, don't watch us. Didn't mean to do it. <laughs> yeah, they didn't mean to do it. I got dressed first. Yeah. Oh, so you copied? Wow, the man following the woman, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for coming on our channel <laughs> and we will link their details below, like their yeah. social media handles and things like that. They're an amazing couple and yeah, thanks guys. Peace. Bye. Yeah. See ya.